My name is Jürgen Holland. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create some alternative uh, mesh shapes. And we are going to use uh, some uh, different types of tools that you find in, in Cinema 4D or you can download for free. Yeah, I needed some new alternative techniques uh, to create some breaking the directional rules on a mesh and I found some procedural uh, ways of doing this and uh, I guess this is uh, many techniques that can be used in many different ways and I'm just gonna go through how I'm using this in my workflow and um, yeah and some of these uh, tools I, I guess you haven't seen at all so um, yeah let's get started trying to keep it as procedural as possible yeah the different tools I'm using is the connect and I use the mo extrude I use the cloth cloth surface I, I use subdivision surface the bevel and uh, the dual graph that has a link below in the, the in the description yeah just start from scratch so we have a plane here first I'm gonna show you a cool technique with the bevel tool so you hit the bevel tool as every deformer uh, you um, add that as a child of your object and in the bevel tool I can change to the points mode then it starts from the points out and you can hit the offset but if you keep on dragging this it goes on forever that's why it's really smart to have this limit button and if you hit that limit button it stops when it can't go any further and uh, then by using that technique the edges now go in a different direction but you always have to remember uh, since we are using the bevel tool it's creating more segments all the time so it's Every segment that you see here, uh, th this is still contained in the object. So that's why you're using the uh, connect object to uh, combine this into one form. So now is, this is one form. And now we can uh, keep on using this form and try to use an, another tool, another deformer. I can use the extrude deformer for instance and for every deformer you can put it in a hierarchy uh, and uh, as long as it's in the same spot or in the same row in the hierarchy it, it will influence the uh, the mesh the base mesh so I, if I add the mo extrude to the uh, mix uh, for instance do like that we have a totally new form and I can keep on doing this I can nest this into a new connect object and then a new null and for instance make take another more extrude into the mix and now we have this flowerish uh, flowery pattern that's not possible in any other way scale this up by going back to the plane don't need that many segments to get this started so you can really have some weird uh, new shapes and of course put that in the end in its own uh, connect object and yeah you have a new uh, really new cool uh, pattern going on a flower pattern so that was uh, one way of doing it for instance and then we can of course start with the more extrude and uh, yeah do the same thing then you have uh, another pattern it's not that uh, it doesn't have that many strange different segments but uh, yeah it's great some new stuff and for instance we can use the cloth object this has to be apparent of course 
uh, it uh, can do subdivisions without uh, bending the object like you do with the subdivision surface. So, and it also can give thickness if you need to do that procedure also without doing the uh, And for instance, if you're using the polygon drop reduction, if you ever use that to just reduce, uh, to get some angles, you can add the cloth surface. And um, yeah, include that in the mix. You see that I do more or less the same all over and over again. And uh, yeah. A new weird pattern, and I can also use the uh, extrude, of course. And now I have this type of uh, new flowering pattern going on. And then that wouldn't would not happen if you didn't use the polygon reduction, use the cloth surface and uh, everything like that. And now, and uh, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, use the uh, plugin called UL Graph by Antagma. And there's many tutorials already, so this is going to be really fast. And uh, what you need to um, create, uh, what you need to use the geograph, you need an um, an object that is triangulized. But <clears throat> by using the polygon reduction, you can do the triangulation. But as you see, if I add the geograph and put that into the mix. It disappears and we're going to use the cloth surface to, to get more subdivisions but uh, the dual graph doesn't work because we need to connect the different points and now we have a procedural dual graph object so we can change not that much in that direction but we can change how it looks in the in the cloth surface and get some uh, cool uh, looking uh, patterns. So yeah, and there's a lot more uh, tutorials for dual graph on the internet. So uh, just search for that plugin. That's just uh, something I've been uh, doing lately, making strange uh, pattern. Hope you hope you like it and uh, good luck.